Hey! Oh my god. If you've seen the video of our first trip out in the van, you'll know that our tap stopped working. We kept saying it was the water pump, but we've given it to Stuart this last week, and it's turned out the actual switch in the tap stopped working. So obviously it's one of these camping ones, it's got a got an extra switch on the inside. He said that's knackered, they've chopped that off, and the plan is I've got another switch. Just literally just a, a straightforward switch like that. I'm literally going to put two wires. Come to join me in here, just talk to the camera. So yeah, I'm going to put two wires like this with these ends in because the wires from the water pump have the, the opposite ends that fit into these. Attach them to the switch and then attach them to the water pump. And then I'm going to put this the tap back on and then basically this switch will be null and void and it will just be opening up whatever it is, the pipe, the facet, the f whatever. And the switch is what will turn the pump on and off. Hopefully that's going to work. These are the two wires that were connected into the tap. Oh look, can you hear that bloody dog? Look at that the little shit. You little monkey, get back in there. Go on you little... Stop trying to escape. As I was saying, I'm just gonna replicate those two old wires that were in the tap. And instead of putting them in the tap, I'm gonna connect them to the switch. We've got drill a hole there. We've got drill a hole this size, so that goes through, and then just screw it on. How do you keep getting it out here? Out here? <laughs> I think first things first, I'm gonna have to drill a hole in there and pull the wires through. All right, so I gotta be super careful. I just gotta be extra careful that I don't go through the wires on the other side. Right, that'll do. So I'm actually struggling to get those back through the hole so that I can put them in the other hole to bring up to the other cupboard. So I think what I'm just gonna do is snip them off and make a new connection. Saves me trying to do another drill hole and going through the water part. That's all I need, so yeah, sod it. That's what I'm gonna do. So these are the other ones. Push them back down. There are the wires for the USB bit. After making the hole, risking going through the wires, I realized after I snipped off those two end bits, I probably could have pushed them through the same wires as the USB. But it's through now, so it don't matter either way. Just didn't need to risk the drilling next to a wire. I was just gonna draw around that, but these two bits are in my way. It doesn't have to be perfect, but as long as I can get the screws in, it should just fit in whether it's loose or not, and then the screws should tighten it up. Just realized Dad's painting the the back doors so he's got them open so he keeps sneaking out and coming around here little shit 15 mil by 35 mil problem is without having a ruler i don't have a straight edge i won some top trumps cards at the amusements in hunt stanton when we went so i'm going to use wayne rooney doesn't have to be perfect there's the little rectangle that i'm going to chop out oh went out the lines there it's not the not the end of the world I'm gonna have to come and hoover up in here again. Well, where's that switch? That's where it will go. Right, as I uh, I have no structure whatsoever because I'm not a very organised person in general. I've just drilled the four holes before I set the jigsaw up and cut it out. I'm gonna get on with putting these ends on the wires, which is obviously the natural way to uh, to go about it. A couple of lengths of wire. Where's Stuart's snippers that he's left in here? I just had them a second ago. Obviously, it doesn't matter about the colour, but I like to keep some things organised. I like having a black and a, and a red wire. And then the same with the black. All right, so there's our two bits of cable. Hang around, the end's on. Just fold it up, that's ready to go into the switch, into one of them little bits. And then do the same with the black wire. Then we're going to put the connectors on. Moment of truth. Give it a good yank. There you go, lovely. And then do the same with the red wire. There you go, there's my two wires that I'm gonna plug into the switch. This side goes to the switch. This side will connect to the water pump. I've just made those wires. Now I'm gonna get the jigsaw to the uh, to the thing, create this hole. Ready to make a hole. Oh, the hole's big enough. They are not. Jesus Christ, bad idea. Right, I'm gonna make one of the holes bigger made a really really bodge jobbers of that hole yeah like i thought it didn't fit but i'd rather go smaller and then make it fit that is a really really bad hole that is terrible but it fits it in and look you ain't even gonna tell it is on a bit of a wonk two screws in there and there should have it sitting nice and tight don't look bad does it so i've made the hole what i'm going to do now is put the switch wires into the switch just pop it in there a little bit and just tighten it i have a bad habit of over tightening everything 
So look, there we go, there's the switch. The water pump is now connected up to the switch with these two wires. Which I will neaten up at a later date. Right, so Megan's there waiting for it. Good. Go in the back. It's on. Is it working? Right, so down. Hey! <laughs> and it's down. Oh my god. Right, so now all we've got to do is put the tap back in. I'm going to put a little bit of sealant around where the tap goes into the sink. Just a little bit of extra waterproofing. I'm going to put the tap on. So we've added it in and there's way too much sealant coming out. I'm going to wipe that off with the lighter fluid. Although the problem is I won't be able to get around the back and the sides underneath them bits. We'll give it a go. We'll do the best we can. We'll do that in a minute. Meanwhile, I'm going to connect this up. This is the last bit. Is this pipe... Just shoving into the bottom of the tap. Needs sticking in somehow. It keeps popping out. I'm going to test the tap now, but I'm going to be holding this in. There we go. So it's working, but we've got a leak under here. I think this Jubilee clip is quite loose. We'll just tighten that up, but either way, we have it working. I'm also going to put some sealant around the little blue bit that connects to the tap, as that keeps popping out, and I realise that's where the leak's coming from. I'll put a little bit of sealant around that, and hopefully when I push that into the tap, that'll make it stay in the tap, and also waterproof it from the leak. It's in there as far as it can go. The sealant's coming out, so that should at least stop the leak. I'm going to leave it a day or two to dry. And then I'm going to try the tap. No leaks underneath. Yeah, it's working, it's working. Let's give him that some stick. But to be honest, staying. Oh, look, there you go. Put it on full blast. Then going through some water, but that's actually doing all right, it's sticking it there. Oh, great! Oh, bollocks! I mean, it was giving it some stick, but it's going fine. At least that's been stuck in there. I really hope that's the fuse gone. I'll be oh, literally just fixed it. I will be good. Oh yes, oh thank god for that. Just a fuse. Oh brilliant. So all I gotta do is swap the fuse hopefully. I can still hear it going. That's not good. Luckily, little bag of fuses. I really thought that was gonna be something else. I did only put like a five amp fuse in, so I was expecting it to break at some point, but I've got a little 10 amp. The rest of them have got 10 amps. Other than the little USB thing. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah, and it's sticking in underneath as well. Happy days, I'm not going to put too much pressure on it. It's not leaking under there, and it's not coming out. Still going to have to keep an eye on it, make sure it doesn't shoot out there. That will do. 